um, the latest information that I have, and that I have to say that um, this is uh, sort of a patchwork information, and it's not regular, um, and one has to um, treat the official sources of information with a, um, a heavy dose of salt. Um, they're not designed to uh, to uh, reveal the exact situation. But the latest uh, information that I have is that there's ongoing criticality at Reactor 1. Oh, really? Oh, I, yeah. I, I didn't read that today. Yes, yeah, so that, um, basically what appears to be happening is that um, um, there are sudden uh, criticality episodes which last about uh, four or five hours, and then water is pumped into the, um, by the authorities into the reactor, it, uh, the criticality goes away, uh, that dies down, and then a few days later it jumps back up again and they pump more water in. How can um, you diagnose this, the criticality occurring? Uh, by the radiation dose meters are recording uh, yeah, as much uh, as 250 sieverts per hour as the dose rate. Now, this is inside the reactor vessel. Oh, my God. Um, <clears throat> Inside the pressure vessel, I should yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, these, uh, these are huge uh, dust rates, mm -hmm. um, and they are due to um, fissioning, um, and mostly from neutrons, is from what I can gather. Right. It's difficult to say. It just certainly not, it, this is not the, um, uh, a dust rate from decay products. Um, no. It's, it's from... Because these are episodic and because they are frequent, um, they must be from criticality. And um, this this is all reaction one. This uh, means that they have not got the situation under control, and um, it remains on a knife edge. The main the main thing right now is just to try and stop the ongoing criticalities. Um, in reactor one, uh, that is really serious because um, if they fail to control these, for example, if they run out of water or the pumps fail or whatever, um, then the crit criticality can continue conceivably and keep on going and going and going, and um, then we'd be into uncharted territory. God knows what would happen. And I'm not really, I'm not ruling out. Um, um, a nuclear bomb type scenario. Uh, oh, you mean a uh, nuclear okay. explosion? Mm, could be, because How? we just run because we're really in a situation where we don't know. Oh my God! Um, what what is um, what the exact situation is as regards to the criticality? Where we don't know, for example, uh, to what extent. Um, it, uh, it, it, how much of the fuel is involved in going critical, of the molten fuel, which is going critical. Mm -hmm. um, and they're controlling it right now ad hoc-wise by pumping in water. Um, and uh, that creates its own problems, of course. Um, when What happens if that stops? Or what happens if something happens? Well, these things are all unanticipated, so we're really in un uncharted And what waters, happens if there's another major aftershock? Well, 